two times Olympic champion, two times European champion, Tomasz Majewski is one of the best throwers of all time. The only thrower to win two gold medals in Olympics in Shawford since Perry O'Brien, which was back in 1956. He's going to talk to you guys about how to prevent injuries, his ups and downs, how he felt before his first gold medal and experiences and lessons he learned over time. So check it out, guys. A lot of wisdom here. Tomasz Majewski. So, Tomas Majewski, thank you so much for uh, your time. Um, no and problem, I hope my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, I hope everything's going well. You're a busy man now, you're a father, you're still Olympic champion. And uh, so we thank you so much for taking your time here. Um, we, what we usually ask our, uh, our uh, interviews is, how did you get into throwing? Uh, nobody, so... <laughs> Um, so I grew up in the, in the little village about 80 kilometers from Warsaw. Uh, my parents got a farm. I got like uh, three brothers and one sister. So the big family. Mm -hmm. uh, first time I throw in the, in the primary school, about um, I was like 14. I try uh, shot put and this good, but, but it was, we just tried. Yeah, I started with a little um, competition, mm -hmm. like local one. But when I was 15, I go to the secondary school in the, in the bigger city. Mm -hmm. And uh, my cousin is an athletic coach okay. and sure. take me to the stadium and mm -hmm. I started. First, for, for probably two months, I, I was training like uh, everything, yeah, mm -hmm. because my cousin is like a more uh, the jumps, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, and on this stadium, we got like only two coaches. <laughs> Second coach was a uh, little Suski, mm -hmm. a long time uh, Piotr Malachowski coach. Yes. Uh, so my body was better for throw. So I start with discus and shot put, mm -hmm. and this started. Mm -hmm. And I came uh, stay there for twenty years. <laughs> twenty. Why? Uh, when did you know discus and shot put? When did you know shot put is going to be your better event? <laughs> Very early, or like that? I was. Always too stupid for the discus. I, never, <laughs> I try so many times and I never, never can learn the technique. So the shot put was easiest <laughs> for me. And I, I first two years I, I, I train a boat, mm -hmm. a starting boat. But but after two years of disappointing with discus, I stay with shot put. That probably was the the better decision. Definitely. Well, obviously, obviously it, it was. Now you were. Uh... In a, in a world of throwing, uh, gliders are not very, uh, well, there's not very many of them, right? All my very eyes, successful. The, the change on my eyes. Yeah. When I started, it was like, like 50, 50 yeah, percent. Yeah. Ah, okay. And, uh, and now when I finished, it was like a 95 to five. Now <laughs> it's like 99.5 <laughs> percent of the, yeah. Yeah. Only, only David. <laughs> you and David. Yeah. You and David. Yeah. yeah. Um, now it's only David. Yeah. Yeah. So you were throwing with all these young men. Uh, so the, the times have changed a little bit, but not really, because you already you, you threw with them in Rio. You were uh, you were in finals and in third Olympics. Um, but when did you uh, before uh, your first gold medal in Beijing going into? Now this is 2008. You already good thrower, but there's a lot of good throwers there. There's Adam Nelson's throwing. Uh, Reese Hoffa was throwing, uh, and uh, a lot of 22 uh, throw guys. Um, and, uh, how did you, did you know, uh, that you were good? Like how was before the <laughs> Olympics? Did you know you're going to win? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Uh, on the world inter championship in Valencia, I got a, for my first big medal. I was third, I was, that was bronze. Mm. I threw like 20, 90 something. It was my PB, but I got like big foul throw. So, so that was okay. And whole, uh, whole season was, was okay. Yeah. I got my secret plan that I will be growing all the rest of the guys will be yeah, yeah. staying like that or, or a little lower. Mm -hmm. So uh, and everything was like in my plan, yeah. yeah. Probably two or three weeks. The, the, the last competition before the, before the Olympics was like, a, uh, was like a guest head uh, um, Diamond League. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And was like, that was like, like a tough competition. Everybody was there, mm -hmm. and I were I finished third, but 
for the most of the competition I, I, I were first. So, mm. and, and Adam was there, Reese was there. And I threw like probably like one centimeter PB, like 2090 something. I, I, I finished third, but uh, but that was like a good prognostic before before uh, Olympic Games. So my plan was to uh, go to Beijing and to come back with the bronze medal, yeah, because mm. I, I, I knew I, I can do it, yeah. yeah? yeah. By my last uh, training camp before we, we go to Japan, mm. and I was and was great, yeah. I, I started growing very fast, mm. and after elimination round, yeah, uh, I won the elimination through 21 first time in my life. Yeah, I know that I can beat uh, for for a goal. Yeah, mm. I see the guys scared. See how how far they throw, how how they look like. Mm. <laughs> I know what I can do. So yeah. after after elimination round, uh, I, I believe that I can win this title, and I do. <laughs> you did, you did, and that was. How did you feel after the you know last throw, and you now realize you are Olympic champion? I mean, this is what yeah, all the yeah, yeah. kids this, are dreaming about. Yeah, yeah, that's the dream come true the yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, you just started realizing that all your life will change. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for me, it was that. Uh, Straight from the from the competition, we got like a medal ceremony. So, so, so everything was in, in, in one moment. So yeah. and after that, I got like like tons of the interviews, yeah. and and uh, everybody starts going crazy. Yeah. And after that, I, I came to the Olympic Village probably like two mm, two p.m. <laughs> mm -hmm. So so and, and I can sleep for for probably four. And I started realizing, yeah, yeah, that's moment. Your life will change for the, that's awesome. the, for the uh, long, yeah. No, and it's hey, changed, yeah. And what, I mean, the way that you won it too, that competition was, is a first medal ceremony, first medals, right? Shopper yeah, is always yeah. the beginning. So people remember first couple, you know, medals and then 100 meters, whatever, right? So <laughs> yeah, yeah. that was, uh, I think, Polish. Yeah, that I was that model when, when, when Shopper was first, first, first event was, was much better for me, yeah. In Rio, where, did, where it got like like day seven was terrible. <laughs> so how, that was one of my questions. How did you like that having qualifying in the morning and final afternoon? Now the guys have, you know, shoppers have a couple of days or a day between. Day between, yeah. Uh, for me, it was a great system. Yeah. Yeah. That was very good. Elimination in, in the morning, you need to wake up at like five or four, yeah. yeah. You need to wake up somebody, somebody couple people uh, i'm sure that uh, like wake up normally go straight and do like yeah. always big mistake yeah uh, i wake up always very early mm. uh, so yeah that that system was, was good for me always always was okay yeah yeah no it's incredible and now you're olympic champion for four years and it's going you know you're competing over there and then young man david Stor comes in 2011 and wins world championships as the youngest and now in 2012, like, oh, you know, Majewski, who knows? You got, you know, all these guys throwing far. David is coming. What was your experience going in for second Olympics in, in London? Your expectations for you now that you yeah, were yeah. Olympic champion? So, but... uh, that whole season was, was okay. Uh, 2011 was like a big disappointment for me because when I, I, in Dago, I was one of the, of the favorites. I, I should win there, yeah. Yeah. And and, and uh, I, I finished eight, <laughs> yeah. nine, and after that, after this qualification, nine. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was big disappointment. And a whole uh, another another year was uh, I remember about this 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 lose. Mm -hmm. So so I was so focused about it Olympic that before Olympic I said I go in interviews. <laughs> I yeah. said I going to gold, won the gold and. Wow. And um, before that, I threw far. I threw like twenty-one sixty, so mm -hmm. so that, that, that was okay. But uh, uh, before the the, the Olympic, uh, my technique was a little shaky. Mm -hmm. But on the last technique, no, on the last technique on, on in London wasn't still wasn't good. Yeah. Okay. But when I came to the elimination round warm up. Every, everything just like up in the yeah. in the in the right place in first throw in the warm up okay yeah we'll be no, good yeah. so oh, okay. so <laughs> the difference between 
uh, London and, and, and Daegu, that was, uh, this was probably in mind. I was ready for every scenario. So if if somebody will throw further, I can respond. Yeah. Ah. That was the, the the biggest difference. So uh, I threw like like well for most of the competition, mm. I, I I was better from David for one centimeters. I finished yeah. as a three centimeters. Yeah. But uh, if David will be will throw further, I probably will be able to to respond. So you you were ready. That's, I yeah, mean, I were ready for twenty two meters. So so but. I don't need to do this at that yeah. moment, but but that was a well, couple chance to do this. Yeah. yeah. For uh, as a glider, it's, it seems like gliders, you know, linear throwers are more consistent. Is that why yeah. you were so confident? Like you knew because you know you always yeah you yeah, yeah, always, yeah. Uh, your technique was on. Yeah, I, I I was sure that I can throw far. I, if you, if you're a glider, if you throw like 21 meters on the on the on the on the training, you are. Sh I, in my scenario, I was sure that I can do like 2150 yeah, on the competition easy. Competition easy. So yeah. I was like a competition guy. No, no, I don't throw far on the on the on the training sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, I can do very throw very far only on the on the competition and on the main competition was mm. only only thing that I can do my best. Yeah. Uh, now, now, did you did you throw heavier shot puts? Was yeah, that your indication yeah, too? As a glider, I use a lots of like like heavy stuff. Uh, the, the most was like eight kilos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my like, like normal normal uh, weight and nine couple times. Mm -hmm. Not not my type, but ten. Yeah, yeah, ten was like I got like a special big one. Really, it's like one thirty seven millimeters. Wow! Yeah, wow. they especially in, in Poland, they especially do wow. one for me because like the, the the normal one, my forty was was too small. Yeah. 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 So I got like special special shot and and yeah 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 ten k was okay yeah. So would you probably throw, like, like I got well? like a I got like a crazy PB from the standing like sixty meters with ten k. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah yeah that that's, that was something. Like like uh, like a full full glide was like seventeen something, but not that impressive. Like 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 standing, yeah, standing ten k was okay, and I do a lots of uh, element technique with the seventeen k uh, mm. dumbbell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, what what's your best uh, stand throw with the with the normal uh, seven point two six sixteen? On the training, it was like nineteen ninety six. Okay. I do. I do a lots of twenties on the competition warm up. Yeah, mm -hmm. I probably got something between twenty fifty and a little more, maybe. But there was no nobody measured that. But, yeah, uh, if the line got is a couple there. like like a warm up competition with David, yeah. uh, who could do better, yeah. or or other guys. So yeah, I got a couple twenties in the in the warm up. Yeah, that's well, that's. Impressive, but it's not as impressive as some other guys, right? You know, uh, Martinez, like he would throw a 21 stand yeah. throw, right? But you obviously on you know, a 22 meter, so you did a big, big difference in the glide. Not as big uh, as I want, <laughs> as you want to. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I remember I, when I throw like almost 20 meters on the on the on the on the, on the training session, and I was sure that I threw like 22 or something. Wow, <laughs> With yeah. the full and I threw like 2050 only because I was too excited. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you, you expect too much. <laughs> yeah. What What was your best technical throw that you that you were you know, like? Okay, I'm technically the best in this competition. Would that be London <sighs> or? Probably. Okay. In the in the training session, I probably in 2006. In the in the um, January, mm. I got one week, one week, and I threw great. It was my like dream control technique. Mm. I threw so easily. Uh, everybody, uh, timing was the best one. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, I threw like like great. Yeah, everything was like 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 big fun. Yeah, I yeah. threw far. I, I threw. That was my my best week, and I do like a sprinting start from the blocks. And I got like a little injury, oh, no. <laughs> and everything yeah. just just disappeared. Yeah, so uh. there was one week, and and I 
figure it out. A whole technique is, I never came close to this technique I got in this moment. Mm. And um, next year's I got probably one session that I threw like, like crazy. Mm. Uh, I, I, got, uh, I got a little like food poisoning and but uh, you need to go to the training yeah so yeah. i take a uh, lots of aspirin yeah aspirin, yeah, yeah. Yes, to, to get better <laughs> and i and i i remember through uh like 6.8 kilo mm -hmm. shot and it was like bah, 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 bah. just like bullets huh? the, the great technique but so much power ah speed I, 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 we, we threw indoor mm -hmm. we got a, like a like a big net on the 20 meters Mm -hmm. And from the standing and then from the uh, little, little, not not full glide, but like like a step in half wide, yeah. Mm -hmm. I threw like a one meter, two meter on the on the net. Yeah, it was like oh, crazy. Wow. But it was only one competition, <laughs> what one session, one and second. that's it. <laughs> so no. so sometimes it's like that. Rest of the of of, of my of my um, of my throws. So I always wanted to the far and always wanted to good yeah. but there was a lot from my expectation when we compared yeah. to, to technique yeah. so i threw want... okay i threw nice but uh no nothing like that far from model that what, wasn't what is what is, what is uh, model. yeah you were always chasing for those 2006 and that then week what were you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. On, uh, on throwing well what were you focusing what was your biggest technical thing that you were working on <sighs> You can uh, focusing on so many things, but mm -hmm. if even if if in the middle I, I, I blow in something when I when I take some mistake, I always want to do hitting the point. Yeah, that for me was uh, the most mm -hmm. um, impressive thing that yeah. hitting the shot in the right moment. Yeah, yeah. finishing that um, when you when you feel good there, yeah, you know that okay, the throw means something. Yeah. Yeah. So that 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 was for me most imp uh, most important. What what was amazing for me to watch, look at you, and you know now videos. I'm coaching athletes. You know we're trying to look technical models. Models. What I like the most about your finish is that you go so long, and you're like almost like a javelin thrower. You go and like if you had like a couple meter long, you would probably you know, fall on your chest. Yeah, you yeah, go yeah. So yeah. long, so long, like. Not that uh, David Starr, he just you know he goes long, but not as yeah, much as you. You're... His his finish is, is so fast, yeah. Uh -huh. Mine was long, 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 long. Uh, I get long arms, and I wanna use it for the last moment. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. that was my like like signature move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Uh, when I look at you, your videos, um, is there what was your favorite competition? Or favorite competitions to throw at, except obviously Olympics, you won. But was there any? Probably Zagreb, yeah. Zagreb. <laughs> Zagreb was uh, probably my favorite competition. I, yeah. I finished there. I End of the year, there probably yeah. like like ten times or eight or something like that, mm -hmm. and it was always like a finish of the season. Yep. So it was always was a, like a great party, mm -hmm. and after competition, you are you know that you you finish, you got four days, you can rest. Yeah. So and, and atmosphere was great. Yeah, I love Croatia. Uh, so 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 Zagreb was uh, always my one of my uh, great uh, great uh, competition. Sometimes was so many crazy stories. Yeah, I remember <laughs> one day, uh, one time was so heavy raining. Mm -hmm. Throwing on the on the on the stadium on the old uh, ring. Yep. It was like like a mud, no grass mud. It's, yeah. So many dirt. It was like mud. Yeah, the, tennis the, like tennis. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, 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 but the competition was great. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, I talked to Ryan Krauser, same thing. Oh, uh, and Joe Kovac, they love Zagreb because you know it's a good meet, people come show up, they know what's a good distance, and it's at the end of the season, so you are stress, stress free. Yes, um, so, yeah. yeah, so yeah, no, uh, um, about your preparation for peaking. So, you yeah. were best at the best meets for the most part, you obviously, you want to look at size. So how would you, and a lot of problem, a lot of young throwers and, and throwers, professional throwers, uh, not to name them, but they are throwing very far and then, but the season is long and then the Olympics or world championships come in and they're kind of going down. How did you get that peak? Is it by repetition in the weight room or throwing? How did you get, 
you know, ready for the best. Yeah, we got whole systems. Probably the, the, the better question to my coach, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got great system that works for, for probably like 10 seasons. When I wow, get all 10 the, seasons. Yeah, 10 seasons. We're doing the same and works every time till yeah. 2013. In 2013, I was so old that the system finished. <laughs> but before that, uh, before that, we, we do everything. Of, mm. of course, we need a couple of seasons to figure it out. Yeah, your body and to figure it out. Ah. The whole system of the preparation, mm. uh, the everything uh, was in the right place, right moment, yeah. and 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 that's work. Yeah, and and we finding best shape on the on the on the major competitions. So, yeah. so that that that's, that was the, the system. The system. But the, everything and like and in 2014. Mm -hmm. I, I came from the first competition was Shanghai Diamond League and I go there from from the heavy training yeah mm -hmm. so I just start uh, taking some, some some light light stuff and and I still need need a couple of weeks to, to, to get my fresh mm -hmm. so um, I start uh, well, it was a good competition I, I, I finished third. But I threw like 21, 15. So it was like like my third opener ever. Mm -hmm. And I was, I, I was okay, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I I, I take some fresh. Next next competition will be like 21. And another one will be like 21, 50. Yeah. yeah but yeah. Uh, another, I, I start uh, taking some resting and, and, yeah. and uh, light training. And another competition was weak. <laughs> And another, another was we could do so. Uh, and from this moment, uh, the, the the three season was like like a, a horror in the in the in the, in the training because mm. we from three season we start so many systems to, to, to figure it out how my body was. I was old guy, yeah. I was You're getting your body changing, yeah. Thirty five, yeah. 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 Uh, to find the, the 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 good system to preparation to the main. Uh, to the main competition and, and probably we don't fight it. <laughs> so yeah. if you if you find good system, mm -hmm. uh, it will be works. Yeah, mm. but of course you, you, need to, you need to have a good coach and you need to find it. Yeah, mm. try a lot of things and, mm. and, and 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 that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you need you need a couple of years to see when uh, yeah, you of speak and then, then... But when when something works that works. Yeah. yeah. Of course, not not with everybody. Yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of people try my system and <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would see. I see some throwers that like to lift light before yeah. competition or a couple of months before. Rarely you'll see somebody who's trying to get more and more power. Uh, but it, everybody's a little different. Everybody's a little different. That, that, that's, that's, that's true. Um, now you threw one of the biggest things for young athletes uh, that we that I coach and uh, listening to this is injuries, preventing injury. Everybody's you obviously, that's the biggest fear of every athlete. You threw for so many years and you threw so well. What were some things intentionally that you do to stay healthy-ish, you know, healthy-ish <laughs> over that uh, time or prevention? Did you do, you know, be careful at training or did you do some exercises for your body to be ready? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Only your coach, huh? <laughs> I, I'm a shot putter. <laughs> I'm not a, like a uh, yoga teacher now. No, no, no. Uh, my, my 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 biggest uh, Achilles. Was, Achilles. I was until I I get like twenty nine. I was like unbreakable. Yeah, <laughs> I was so healthy guy. Yeah, yeah. I can do a lots of a lots of stuff. I can party. Yeah. I can compete. Not Great, sleep. Yeah? yeah. If I, I I yeah I don't need sleep. I can party. Go straight to the straight to the training. And it was okay. Yeah. Yeah. When I was 29, that, that, that finished, <laughs> but I still was a very, very healthy guy. Mm -hmm. If I if I got like like some injuries, uh, I get healthy very quick, mm -hmm. and I got injuries in the right moment. Mm -hmm. So probably all my injuries was in the autumn on the Finnish season. So yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I got a time to to rest and and, and to, to to figure it out. Mm. But of course, if you are um, a little bit older mm. and everything is used, 
Yeah. So yeah. so you got injuries. So for my advice to young athletes, need to answer uh, for where 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 all the injuries came. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First reason is stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 So don't do stupid things. <laughs> don't do like like sub max uh, weights <laughs> or stuff like that. Without warming don't up. Don't do or... like basketball <laughs> dunks or, or stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and uh, dunks. And, you dunk for the shot put. Yeah, I, I dunk the. Yeah, well, I was young. Yeah. <laughs> that was like, before uh, 29. Just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. First of all, don't do stupid things. Yeah. 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 Uh, another advice when you start. When you're young athletes, uh, you need to learn good technique in weights, in weight lifting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my first coach uh, was former weightlifter, so first couple of years we learn, well learn, mm-hmm. and that, 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 that was okay. We yeah. all, all the exercise on the way we we doing proper, we doing good. Yeah, biomechanically correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. mechanically correctly. Yeah. Yeah. like the weightlifters yeah and it was okay yeah because uh the the, the chance that you broke something or, or is lower yeah? yeah so if you are young athletes learn good good clean good snatch good good uh, squats and it's okay yeah mm. and then this and of course yeah if you are a thrower you, you need to have injuries yeah yeah the work is too hard the the the, the part of your body is so much use that sometimes they need to yeah. break and that's it i got like four uh, operations so four sur- surgeries mm-hmm. so my last one was like a spine so <laughs> the big one in 2014 Ooh. like uh, like uh, the before the the indoor season i got mm-hmm. like, like a big injury so i need to to fix it up but that was okay and then probably after that uh, like fifty percent of my my pains from whole my body gone. So it was oh, a good discipline wow. and it was okay. <laughs> so you wish you were you got it earlier, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't do that after uh, after London, but mm. I, I go to a doctor who two years yeah. later got my surgery, but said uh-huh. okay, we got time. <laughs> but yeah. when I came after two years, he said. Now we don't have time to go to surgery. Wow. So, oh. Yeah, that was okay. And I, and I probably uh, in three months after after surgery, I start normal training and I, I, I finish uh, six on the world champions in Moscow. So it was, it was yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, you, um, yeah, it's, it's a big part. And I remember Cantor saying, yeah, my body's getting older. I need to warm up longer, so it will be yeah, yeah. fifteen minutes to forty-five like, like, minutes. <laughs> no, no, I, I came from seven minutes to like like normal competition when it, when you got on the plate. Yeah, yeah. I I throw so so long that I was like optimal warm up was like seven and a half minutes, and, and I am ready. <laughs> that was it. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that is it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, do you always, you know, throw so many? Do you miss throwing now, or you're, you no. know, this? I, <laughs> no, no. I finished like four years ago, so so, and from the probably two years, I do like a normal uh, gym and yeah. and I do something. After two years, I, st- I finish, yeah, and I do nothing from the probably one and a half year. Now mm. I start do something, but yeah, okay. Uh, sometimes yeah. I when I when I when I'm going and I. Do some some move from throwing, yeah, yeah. It's, it's normal, yeah. When you throw, you have imitation, every, yeah. Every time you 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 trying something, yeah. yeah. So uh, and I feel my body like like a hips and back and <laughs> no way. So I don't miss throwing. Uh, I miss competition, mm-hmm. but uh, I'm still working the uh, light athletic. So I'm going to competition and yeah, and yeah. And, and I now I can watch, yeah. yeah. All the whole competition, no stress. Uh, so so yeah, that's probably like, like a better role for me now. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it's it's interesting how some athletes they, they don't stop. Some that they find different different things to do, and you're obviously still an athletic, so you're doing yeah. that. Is you have that excitement as well? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, do you want to be yeah. a coach, or do you? What what is it that you're doing now? 
I'm a vice president of the Polish yeah. Athletic Association. Uh, I'm proud to be uh, stay with that. And Poland, I mean, Polish athletics is incredible. It's uh, you guys are doing a great job, obviously, last few years, well, last year, last few decades, you know, with you, uh, Malakowski and all your guys kind of, you know, started the Polish, Polish athletics. Now you have jumpers, you have sprinters, you have everything. And this oh, season oh. was the only one season there was meets in Poland. Everybody was going to. Yeah, Poland. yeah, 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 yeah. So how yeah, do you guys, it. yeah, what do you guys do to prepare? What happened? You, you take it more yeah, seriously? Like, like in nice rules, <laughs> be Polish low. Yeah, yeah, it's like we can do it, yeah. Mm. and so we risk a little bit but, but it was okay yeah 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 the whole whole the the, the times is crazy but uh, yeah. we need to do something yeah for us that for us that that, that um the time that we need to like uh, um change the date of the olympics now but it's not great yeah because the a lot of our great athletes are old yeah mm. so we need to do something get him some some new goals and, and try any new new things because the, the the sometimes if you need to wake another year for the the, the main championships it's yeah. terrible yeah yeah like, like Piotr Malachowski yeah but he still want to do it yeah, yeah. another Olympic so yeah so it's, it's, it's not great but we need yeah. to do something and hopefully we we're doing good we don't have like lots of cases on the training camps uh, any of the on on the competition so so it was okay and and and, and we do like a full season every 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 group age so so it was okay yeah, yeah. what what's uh, i don't know how it was <clears throat> when you started in poland but now poland obviously has great indoor facilities great outdoors you don't see many polish young athletes going to america because yeah. they have so much there uh where do you see uh, polish athletics in you know 10 15 years from now can they be the number one in europe <laughs> in the world <laughs> oh of course we we, we will be have an, a little like like lower yeah yeah we, because the the, the loss of our, our great athlete will be in, in like two three years will be finished yeah we start, mm -hmm. we, of course we got a, like a, like a new guys new mm -hmm. people coming not in every event mm -hmm. Uh, but we still got a like like a very potential people in the the couple of them. So so maybe we don't have a great uh, young stars for now. But in a couple of years, probably will someone will grow and, and rise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I will see. We'll see. Yeah. It's only sports, so sometimes uh, sometimes it's great. Sometimes. It's bad but we Sometimes still like got the potential yeah. for for be like like a very strong team maybe yeah. not so strong like like now but but strong yeah no uh the polish athletics i mean the the you know they talk about german engineering and you know focus <laughs> i think poland has the same now uh no 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 no, no? <laughs> we got like uh, like still we got we still got a hunger for the for the winning yeah yeah oh there you go we, we underdog a little bit got a little better facility with a better money but 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 we still got this hunger yeah that's the probably the most thing that that yeah give us medals yeah, yeah. so you know i got a couple more questions for you before i let you go uh, I know your dad, you have, you know, things to do. Uh, oh, they're still sleeping. So, okay. <laughs> so, good. Um, with, uh, obviously, you're two-time I mean, Olympic champion. There's two really, really good throwers in Poland. They are very good. Uh, you got yeah. Haratuk and, uh, and uh, Bukowiecki. Um, how, where do you see them going? And obviously, with the world of now, that everybody's throwing so far and a little bit, uh, <laughs> Where do you see them? Uh, what advice would you give them, you know, for the next couple of years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a two great uh, throwers, but if they, if you can take him to the one, it will be like like a record holder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he will be like, like uh, winning every competition. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they got like some, some, some good stuff. They got some, some, some weak stuff. So that they have to work on. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they are great. They got potential, but the, the, the time for them is just like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But so many good guys. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how, how we will be in, in, in the season after COVID. Yeah. But, and some of the people got a, like a big, big problem. Like, like that one, um, like a Brazilian guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, he, yeah. Yeah. They, they got lots of problems with the training. Yeah. yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. So they, 
they got potential for 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 a big throw, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but probably they they still need uh, the, the, the the some more more like uh, this most important moment experience, yeah. They need to yeah. start winning with the Joe. They start winning with the Ryan. Mm -hmm. Not so many people can beat Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, he's only yeah. lose couple times from the from two seasons. Yeah, yeah it's like it's only a couple yeah. competition when he don't finish first. Mm -hmm. So if you want to beat him on the, the major competition, you can beat him somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> you know that that experience that that feeling. They need to take the the the, the one step more. Yeah, you need that experience to do something big. With that, they get chance to to. Fight uh, on, on the Olympic Games yeah? okay. because in Europe, okay, they they, they probably will be uh, still still great in in couple yeah. seasons. Yeah, I take it European. You're champion, thinking yeah. of the the big goals you need to one step more. Mm -hmm. It's it's good now with Diamond League uh, that they can go and compete in a big level too there. Yeah. So and it's exciting to see that. Uh, and what a, yeah, what a crazy, crazy uh, times it's to be. But uh, uh, Bukowski, he's so young. Karatek is young still, relatively. Yeah, uh, yeah. They, they both young. They still healthy, but but everybody and are young and healthy. Right? And it's like like yeah. twenty six. Yeah. Still got it lots of times. Yeah. So so yeah yeah. The the, the whole season will be very interesting. Um, the Olympic Games will be crazy. So we'll see. You don't have a. Do you have a prediction for Olympics? <laughs> who's gonna win? Who's gonna medal? When I hard. when I watch the the, the Ryan's uh, competition, this guy uh, he's so strong. He's so strong. Everything looks great. Yeah. Uh, I hopefully this year will be the the, the last uh, year from from this Ray De Bars record. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. And yeah. and and we will be watching a lots of great competitions. So the, the guys will come back, Joe. Joe probably is very strong now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't show it, show it, but he's yeah. strong. Yeah, yeah. He can probably squat 500 yeah. kilos for 10, but he's like, oh, 300. <laughs> look at me, easy. <laughs> hey, well, that was that was great. It's masterpiece. Yeah. Right. When he when he sent this video, I was like, everybody was like, slap. <laughs> it's amazing. When you it's... when you when you think he, when you are strong, no, you don't. <laughs> no, no, he's no, no. he is incredible. I'm I was so happy for him to win that world championships. He's such a nice guy. I mean, so strong. He was you know with Art Venegas back in the California yeah. movie. His wife, a big move, yeah, yeah. trying to be a pilot and you know start a family. <laughs> And yeah, now, the, the whole whole Doha the whole Doha final was like, like like Christmas. Yeah, every round he got like present. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like ah, cheering every time. Was, yeah, world record. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, it was yeah. great competition to watch. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. I mean, the, 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 they came within centimeter. Three of them at two ninety one, two twenty two ninety one, twenty two ninety. It's yes, just yes. yeah. One of them has to throw a world record. I mean, I, I know <laughs> true, they will. True, they need true. to, like you said, the Randy Barnes record go down. It's time. It's time for somebody. It's how time. far? Do you... The time has come. <laughs> Thirty years is is enough. Yeah. yeah. How far do you think they can throw? What can what can it be? Twenty three fifty probably is, is right. suitable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, something like that. When I see the his his throw from the from the December, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's probably a little better uh, with technique with what we see last year. So uh, yeah. a little step and and he, I mean, he's strong from the guy. He's one high, one high, yeah. yeah. So he, he's very very strong. So and and I see he, his his videos, yeah, doing good. <laughs> doing good. Three fifty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's possible. Yeah. Do you know he was a glider too? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, he has that little uh, finish, the kind of glider finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like uh, from the from the throwing family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah His from, dad, from uncle, the... everybody. Yeah. What a uh, when were you? What was the season that you were? You know, I have two more questions for you. The one is, you know, what was the season that you were the readiest? Like you were okay. This uh, this is my best time that you felt in the best shape. 2009, yeah, 2009 was probably I got the the, the most of the best competition there. Yeah, yeah. The, my 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 throwing was the, the best. I was the, the the strongest. I finished second in Berlin, 
I, I lose to <laughs> to Christian in the last round. Yeah, yeah. But I, that was my best season. I was I was my f- like safe throw on the first row, first throw safe throw was like twenty one. So oh, wow. uh, uh, that was like very very easy. I, I beat my PB, so I, yeah, I was very good season. Do Lots you, uh, of good competition, yeah. Lots of fun, yeah. If you can take things back, what would you do differently? Would you do anything differently? <sighs> I mean, you got two Olympic <laughs> goals. Yeah, but maybe in one moment we, with my coach, we start to uh, a little changing mm. uh, after 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 Berlin, yeah. After Berlin, we're thinking about 20 meters because it was my goal that I never reached. And, and we start uh, a little changing with, with, with technique, yeah. with my left leg. Uh, and when I when I look in now, we probably, when we will stay with what I do, will be better, yeah? Because we, we focusing on the, on the little details and doing lots of lots of work Overthinking. and uh, if we'll be doing it normally probably would be better i could throw uh, a little bit farther but uh, there was a time we got like first injuries big yeah. injuries so i don't know <laughs> i never know yeah. but the rest of that yeah, it, was, it was okay i got my low i got my go uh, and yeah. yeah it was okay i got very very good career yeah Man, that, that's why you don't miss throwing. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. You miss competing. I, right? I don't. I don't need a need to, so something to to to, yeah. to pace. Yeah. yeah. No, thank you, Thomas. Uh, one more question: If you were for young athletes, for young athletes starting uh, everything now with the social media, obviously there's so many different. Uh, it's so much easier to see people throwing, yeah, people lifting. Course, yeah. What would you tell them uh, starting in? What's what's important in the beginning for throwers, young throwers? You know, 14, 15 years old, 16. Yeah, when, when you're starting, you, you need to focus on about technique of every uh, exercises. Mm-hmm. When you're learning good, that will be, uh, that stay with your whole career, yeah? I know a lot of people who, in the young age, take some bad, uh, bad technique with everything habits yeah. technically yeah yeah but, but but habits and 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 sometimes is when you when you older it's always the big the problem will grow yeah, yeah. when you when you when you young age you, you start normal you, you got like a good coach who can mm. uh, learning you good mm. you, will be easy yes yeah whole career will be easiest when you get like a good potential on, on the when you got a good route so yeah and my advice you need to get a fun from from throwing yeah from whole my career the, all my all my practice all my competition was like big fun for me yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, 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 i was competition was like like holiday yeah yeah, yeah. You, you, you're training very hard <laughs> but uh, the the when you go into competition, it was like like a big present. Reward, there was yeah. something for you. You then you can show your or show your potential, show your show your greatness. But and 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 you you need to have fun from that. Yeah. If you don't have a fun, finish do something else. Yeah, that that's that is very very important. What you just said. Uh, that's so much that young athletes forget about that. Right? It's, they put so much stress on them, and when you're stressed, you cannot. You cannot work hard. You, you don't have fun. It's not you're not going to be as good. Uh, so that's very very good advice, uh, Tomas. Thank you so much thanks, for your thanks time. A lot. We are excited to see Polish throwers throw far and continue to, to grow. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks.